hello to all my beautiful Barbie boys and my gorgeous Barbie girls. I'm your host, Adonis DeRoe, and welcome to another episode of Dolly Vents, the only doll show that looks at doll collecting from an intelligent point of view. And before we get started, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. In addition, hit the notification bell. Be sure the notifications are marked as on because that's the only way you'll be alerted as to when new content becomes available. On this episode of Doll Events, we're gonna talk about where we've been. We've been right here on Dollstagram. And today I'm gonna talk about my favorite Dollstagrammers. First on the list, Salty Monkey Productions. Now the thing that draws me into this page is the same thing that draws me into the other pages I like on Dollstagram, the pictures. Look at the detail in the picture. Are these a bunch of little sneakers, J's and Air Force Ones and dunks? Yeah, it is. This is not just some background picture. This is a person who took the time out, bought all those little sneakers because for those of you who didn't know, these little doll sneakers are available, they are. Then they took the time to get the boxes, get the doll, put it all together, stage the whole scene. What is this, a little tiger skin rug on the floor? Man, I'm a rational thinking adult and I know all of this stuff is make believe, but this looks like at first glance, a person looking at their rack of Nikes in their house. Then when you find out, oh, that's a doll, it totally just blows your mind. Then you start to look in closer. You're like, you got the little Bulls jersey right there. Where'd you find that? You know, you got the Lakers jersey. Did you make those? You just don't know. And the pictures are so vibrant, glossy, bright, exclusive looking. You just can't help but stare. These dolls look like they're wearing clothes that human beings would wear. How did you get it that small? Listen, man, I just gotta be honest with y'all. This is art, you know? And this is a high level of artistry, at least in my opinion. You know, like I told you guys in the last video, I may not be at your level of doll collecting, right? You may not be at my level of doll collecting, but I'm definitely at a high level of art appreciation. And I know this is art. These pictures just force you to fall back and look at their artistry. Like if you're not looking at these pictures and just like, just taking aback like in all of these pictures, I really don't know what's going on with your life. I really don't. The next Dollstagram I wanna to talk to you about is Oh My Darling. And I have to say, oh my goodness. When you look at these pictures, first of all, let's take the time to look at the dolls. These are not just dolls you're gonna find in Walmart. Not anymore. These are not just dolls you're just gonna even just find online. You may, you might, but it's not a sure thing. But that's okay, because oh my darling has these dolls. So that's first things first. They got exclusive looking dolls. Then the clothes that the dolls have on. This is not even regular doll clothes, a little t-shirt you get from AliExpress or something like that. These are clothes that are from the 1920s or something like that, you know? Then let's go further and let's look at the actual background of the picture. All of this stuff in the background, all of these little things in the back. Yo, that's exclusive, man. That's, that's a really high level of artistry in my opinion. And the reason why I keep calling it artistry is because art comes from the word artificial. So it's not real. Like a rap artist, He's, the, the rap artist is creating a feeling for you. It's art. You don't feel like how the rapper felt when he wrote it, but your feeling is an artificial feeling. It's somewhat how he felt or she felt when she was putting it together. It's art, just like a painting. It's all art, artificial, artistry. And these pictures look like normal people. That's the thing that sets these dollstagrammers apart from just the average person who's taking a picture of a toy. The toy looks like a toy. These dollstagrammers, their thing looked like people. These are scenes that you've seen people in. These are scenes that you yourself as a person would be in. That's exclusive, in my opinion. That's why I keep calling it artistry. I mean, pfft. you're kidding, right? Like if you're not finding pleasure in these pictures, 
this I don't know what's wrong with your life. I don't know. Maybe you're a sociopath. Now, my favorite is Cutie Erica. Cutie Erica is the one who actually gave me this idea way back. I asked her, I was like, yo, can I like use your 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 pictures to make a video about you? And she was like, yeah, sure. Look at these pictures, man. Oh my gosh. First of all, she's got like really, really, really pretty dolls. That's first. Then the freaking pictures. Oh my gosh. The dolls, you you wanna see this doll. You want to see these dolls. You want to just, man, like the way they're dressed. Look at this, the, the the butterfly outfit and top with the matching butterfly purse with the butterfly shoes, dude, with the beautiful face, man. Cutie Erica has been in the game for a minute. She's been down with us um, at least for three years. At least for three years, we've been rocking with her. Um, Gypsy actually sent a doll to her. She rerouted the doll, sent it back. She did an amazing job. So if you have a doll that you need rerouted, well, let me not say that because I don't know what Cutie Erica's schedule is like. I don't want y'all to be going there and being like, yo, man, she said she couldn't. Yeah, hey, man, look how exclusive this stuff looks. You will be busy too if whatever you did looked as good as this. So I'm just saying that, all right? Well, anyway, I think you guys should should definitely go to Instagram and follow us because that's where we've been at on Instagram. We never left YouTube. We just also be on Instagram. But then also follow the people that you've seen on this video. Cutie Erica, Salty Monkey Productions, and Oh My Darling. They got dope, exclusive dolls very very pretty dolls then the clothes that they have on their on the dolls very pretty very fashionable very rare like where did you get that hard to find type stuff and then the pictures that they're taking of these beautiful dolls in these awesome clothes are immaculate shiny very realistic looking just you could spend an hour looking at the pictures I know that I do it all the time and I've been doing this for a minute. People will tell you they'll just get like 70 hearts out of no place. Yo, where did this come from? And I was Broken Dolly TV. What, y'all liked it? 70 things? Yeah, man, because it's like an addiction. I'll just be sitting here, just, oh, that's pretty. And I'll try to leave. I'll be like, oh, man, that looks good too. And I'll just keep going. It's like, man, you know, listen, you got addictions too, man. So get off my back, all right? Anyway, this has been another episode of Dolly Vents. Hold on, you know what? Yeah, this is Dolly Vents, but I think I'm thinking of just starting a whole series where I talk about all my favorite dolls to grandmas. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, be sure to follow us on Instagram. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow Salty Monkey Productions. Oh my darling and cutie Erica on Instagram because they got the banging pictures and be sure to tune in again for another episode of Dolly Vents. I'm your host Adonis DeRoe urging you to have a Dolly day.